Okay, hello, let's get this recap started. But ask yourself this question before we begin. Do you think you'd make it out of this town alive? This is Hannah. She's trying to figure out where her mom is since it's pretty late at night. She's also pretty worried about an unexplained bite mark she has on her arm. Suddenly, she sees someone running across her yard to her front door. She closes her door in time, which for some reason was wide open. The lady outside begins to spaz out and bang on the door, but she can't get in. It seems she ain't no quitter, though, because she runs around back to find another way. Hannah's about to call the cops when she realizes she left the back door open as well. She makes it in time to close the door, but the intruder bangs on the glass, shattering it into Hannah's face. We then meet these guys, Zach and Randy, recording a video of their town, Moulton, Missouri. They're basically small town YouTubers. They're recording a video when Pastor Greg invites them to a teen church event. The boys say, nah, we good. Zach and Randy then run into another town resident, Miss Bassett who shows them a bunch of bugs crawling around her apples. They're interrupted by a kid across the street getting pulled very strangely by his mother. The boy is screaming, you're not my mom. We cut to some microscopic organisms falling from the sky. Then back to Zach and Randy, who are recording Zach's crush, Kayla, playing softball. She sees their hidden cameras and asks them what they're about. They say they're recording videos of the town. Kayla then introduces them to her all-American family. Her dad, Larry, mom, Beth, and little brother Joey. The boys then head over to Zach's house for dinner. We find out Zach's dad is a double amputee. After dinner, the boys are taking a walk when they hear a scream. They head over to Miss Bassett's house. They enter to find Miss Bassett in a closet and it looks like she's been bitten by something. A creature of some kind crashes through the wall and heads outside. The boys chase down the creature. They see a strange man casually collect said creature in a box. He hops in the whip and leaves. The boys get a better glimpse at the man, and hey, it's the pastor from earlier, Greg. They head back over to check on Miss Bissett, but she looks super stressed, so they dip. Zach and Randy head over to the deputy sheriff, Haywood. He thinks the boys are playing a prank and pays their video no mind. He says since Miss Bissett never called, this can't be legit. The boys head over to the church to confront Pastor Greg about what they saw last night. The church hall is empty. They head down to the basement and Pastor Greg greets them, but he's looking real sus. We also see that he's having a meeting with a random assortment of townspeople. The boys show Greg the video and he pulls the oldest trick in the book, claiming that the man in the video is not him. He then begins to bizarrely disrespect the boys' families, as well as mentioning all the sins their parents have confessed to him. The head sheriff tells the boys to skedaddle and they leave. They head back to Miss Bissett's who starts acting strangely as well. She says she was never bitten and the boys must be mistaken. She then invites the boys into her bedroom. But before the boys can say anything, they hear a noise coming from said bedroom. The boys dip. They head around back to look into the bedroom and see someone tied up on her bed. Miss Bissett walks over and stares at the man when another man hops in front of the camera scaring the boys away. Zach and Randy show their parents the video and they tell them to stay out of the neighbor's business. The boys recognize the person in Miss Bissett's video as Dylan, the captain of the football team. Ah, but here's where it gets weird. They also notice the guy that jump scared them was also Dylan. The boys then get a visitor, and hey, what are you doing here? It's Kayla, Zach's crush. She tells the boys her father's been acting strangely, and he's scaring her. The boys tell her about all the strange things they've also seen in town. She asks if the boys can help her get her mom and little brother away from her not father. They say sure. They're heading over to Kayla's house and notice a whole bunch more people are acting sus. They arrive at Kayla's to see Pops acting super strange. Kayla and Randy distract him while Zach searches for Kayla's mom and brother. Zach heads up to the attic and sees dirt leading to a large pod. Then hey, he finds little brother Joey hiding. Zach tells Joey to go hide in his room while he figures everything out. Pop heads over to search for Zach who's been gone a while. Zach heads into the bathroom to wash his hands. He wipes his hands with a towel, then goes to hide said towel. And well, he finds Kayla's mom. Zach exits the bathroom and leaves the house with the other teens. He shows Kayla the video of her mom. She wants to head back to rescue her brother, and the boys say, nah, let's just show the deputy. They show the deputy. Everyone heads back over to Kayla's house when her mom shows up, perfectly fine. Pastor Greg even makes an appearance, holding on to Joey. The teens realize there's nothing they can do and leave. They head back to Zach's house and hear someone in the barn. Zach and Randy go in to investigate and tell Kayla to check the main house for Zach's mom. The boys go into the barn and find Zach's dad acting super strange. He also reveals that he can walk, which makes me wonder why he was sitting in the wheelchair when they walked in. 
Zack's dad with his new set of legs struts out and we see Pastor Greg with some goons. They trap the boys in the barn with two creatures. A creature bites Randy and they see a pod with something moving inside. Something that looks like Zack's mom hops out and begins to look around, searching for something. The lookalike hops over and attacks Zack's real mom who we see laying in the barn. Zack tries to help his mom but gets yeeted. His mom then gets drained and dies. The creature suddenly begins to speak, telling Zack that it's his real mother. Zack responds by stabbing the creature with a shovel. Kayla opens the back of the barn before Pastor Greg and his goons figure out what's going on. The crew runs over to Deputy Haywood's trailer in the woods. He shows them someone he killed trying to attack him. Randy's clone then makes an appearance trying to kill Randy. It seems he didn't come alone though. A whole group of clones arrives overturning the trailer. Awa gets snatched up. Randy distracts all the clones so Zack and Kayla can get away. Zack and Kayla robotically walk to blend in with the clones, heading to Kayla's mother's store to acquire a van. They notice the clones burning all the corpses in town. Zack is retrieving the van key when Kayla notices her brother along with other kids being brought to a fire station. Kayla walks in and sees kids being bitten by creatures. A classmate of hers begins to watch her. Kayla sees her brother crying and lets out a tear. The classmate begins to lose it and let out a scream. The townspeople capture Kayla. She tells Joey to run to her family's cabin in the woods and wait for her there. Joey dips. The clones are about to have a creature bite Kayla when Zack comes in to save the day. The pair drive off. Zack tries to comfort Kayla when he notices she was bitten. Zack tells her his plan is to upload the footage to a cable news network and broadcast it to the world. While he's telling her this, a bunch of tiny creatures slip into the van, converging into a bigger creature. It bites Zack and scampers away. The pair chase after it, but it's gone. They then notice the sheriff's car arrive, and they decide to head to the broadcast station on foot. Zack then runs into Randy's double. The double tries to convince Zack that he's the original Randy, but is obviously missing human emotion. Kayla sneaks over and hits the clone in the head with a rock. The two begin to drown the clone so it can't signal the others but it manages to anyway. The pair make it to the station when they're attacked by Zack's double. The double is about to body Zack when Kayla comes in the clutch, saving him and jamming the door. They upload all the footage to the server and begin to celebrate by kissing. Zack and Kayla's clones are trying to enter the room when Zack notices there's a carbon dioxide extinguisher system for some reason and decides to devise a plan. They then begin to play footage of themselves so it can sound like they're in the room. Zack then turns on the extinguisher system and opens a door. Then he hides. The clones walk in and start to touch the screen, trying to absorb the duo's memories like some noobs. The clones then pass out and die. Zack and Kayla walk out emotionless again and escape into the woods. They head to Kayla's cabin and reunite with Joey. They look at the TV and notice the clones have infiltrated every city and taken over the world. Hey, I wonder who's filming all this. The two realize their town was the last to be taken over and not the first. We then see other survivors commenting on Zack and Kayla's uploaded video trying to link up. The end. <laughs>